if you are in no contact let us see what is coming what the angels cards has to say about your love life all right so let us see and remember if you are watching i have to say this honey i have to say this if you are watching me on tiktok less than 92k plus followers that account is scam i never approach anybody i never offer email reading message reading only reading i do is face to face video call video call so if you have received some reading from somebody whose ancestors insisted you to message them whatever and that sheet was via message or whatsapp you been scammed i'm sorry to say so yes outside australia paypal is the only option to book reading with me and my only paypal id is pali dmg Ooh, blah, blah, blah. what's going on here okay all right children uh worth waiting for codependency free yourself love yourself first release your ex now you know what it looks like i i'm just doing the same collective which i did couple of days back this makes me really pissed off this is kind of a codependency relationship this relationship is like children so children i'm facing it might be children but this that children is a literally not a children of it can be children but i'm sensing it is an inner child thing because all the cards are saying the same thing codependency release your ex free yourself love yourself first so this shit show goes back to the same thing it is a codependency what you are dealing with the addiction that you feel for this person the attraction that you feel for this person if somebody asks you why this person you why you love this person you probably will not be able to say why you love them you i love them because of divine connection bullshit but you know what this is codependency because this person shows you the mirror it mirrors the your inner insecurities this person actually repeats the pattern of one of your caregivers primary caregivers who were not available unavailable emotionally unavailable i would say or maybe unavailable physically they abandoned you sorry i'm not judging anybody's parents but you know as a child whatever we see is totally different than what you see as an adult version of your childhood because at the childhood if your parents been working or they're busy with other children they could not give you the time that also stored as a childhood trauma so it looks like in the childhood you were one of the parents or maybe both of them or the caregivers were unavailable emotionally towards you and this person is actually exactly repeating that behavior to you they are hot and cold they are hot and cold they come and go come and go that pattern actually reminds you of your childhood where you were not given the priority as a child so this is the person repeating the behavior of your one of your primary caregivers and that is the reason you feel addicted to this person and that's why it is called codependency so you might be an anxious person who like always wants to be clingy to this person hold this person because you are seeing that behavior pattern that you saw in your parents or primary caregiver and you want to be clingy seriously my fucking alarm kills me anyway so what i was saying yeah so you are running behind this person because this person reminds you of the childhood and you know what in our childhood no matter whatever the situation is our parents we no matter whatever it was whatever they behaved as whatever they did we perceive it as a right behavior and when we see this uh, other person repeating those behavior in that unhealthy behavior we find that in this like you know i would say this most discomforting behavior or discomforting situation we fight find comfort because that's remind us about our childhood because no matter whatever your parents are you always feel safe around them in in general i mean i would say so we feel no matter how they just do a little bit of this and that but we still feel safe around them we feel we are secure around them so this person is actually reminding you of that shit show that happened in your childhood and that's the reason you are feeling attracted to you and the problem is that you are not getting out of it that way because in the childhood you feel that i am not worthy enough i have to work hard to get the attention of my parents to get the love from them and you that's the reason you still feel that i am not worthy enough so whatever this person is doing is good enough for me even if they are not giving me attention even they are leaving me every now and then discarding me like a piece of shit i'm still this is what i deserve i do not deserve anything better you know sweetheart you will not going to get out of this cycle until unless you heal yourself until unless you work on your inner childhood trauma you go back to your meditation and work on the child who is actually still feeling that insecure crying baby inside who needs the attention until unless you go and heal that child you can't get out of this cycle this person will keep on doing this shit to you and you will be again and again going back to this person and begging for their attention thinking that this is normal because this is what i you know even if on the surface level in you know, a conscious level you don't know 
no no my childhood was so bleh, bleh. people don't understand that childhood trauma doesn't really mean that the pe- parents were like abusive even though they were the very best parents in the world probably for work they had to go somewhere or maybe they were busy with the other child that also perceives as a childhood trauma because you don't get that ch- parent listen so what you have to do is first of all heal yourself heal your childhood trauma shit all right there are a lot of childhood trauma healing meditation you can go in youtube you can do that so after you heal your childhood trauma this relationship is worth waiting for so i would say i'm not discarding this person that this person is bad this is bad da 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 da, da. but the thing is the pr- person is not the problem they might have their own insecurities they might have their own childhood trauma they might be avoidant for a reason because they had a different set of parents who did create this kind of you know pattern in their behavior because they been having having different kind of a, you know situation now that person is not the problem if you are secure their behavior will not impact you if they leave you go live your life you will be feeling like that all right so the most important thing is to heal yourself once you heal yourself doesn't matter which person you are with they come they go they leave you you are unbothered because you know i'll be fine if this person leaves me i will be fine i can deal with my life i have many things to do in my life i can focus on those things i will live with this without this person i will live alone or i will get somebody else not a problem but you know when this you are wounded and that's what actually makes you clingy to this person and that's why the codependency comes so sit down now and think about why you feel so clingy to this person who does this person remind you of what sometimes go for a meditation and dig inside go deep in your subconscious and think like what pattern i have seen in my childhood which is this person repeating maybe this person leaves you abandons you maybe your parents are this kind of parents maybe i just give you an example my father due to his job he had to go to a different city every alternate month or every month almost and that that those are the days when there was no phone even all right forget about mobiles and he used to go and i know he will be only coming that day for 10 15 days no communication with my father and i am so attached to my father as you know already so those times were like so hurting for me i feel like i used to cry alone okay but i could not speak to anybody that's a huge childhood trauma for me and that actually something if i if somebody repeats that to me that will be a codependency for me all right so that's the thing that's where the healing comes that's if you know where you need to heal then you can heal yourself so that's the thing it's not necessarily that your parents were bad it may be their situation was different due to which you got the childhood trauma so again um anyway so um yeah i have given you a lot of information but i know you got the point um you know don't blame the other person why they doing this to me rather than look within and think what why i am accepting that where i am lagging that why i don't can't set up the boundary what insights me is telling me that i am not worthy enough to set up a boundary so if you do that you will heal you will be a secure person and when you are the secure person you will not be needy energy in a needy energy and the other person will also sense that and when they you will feel secure they will also feel secure in your energy they will not be pressurized and i think this relationship will be a much more better relationship and worth waiting for that confirming it all right it is what it is sweetheart take it or leave it i fix speak fast i do da i do di 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 i don't need your lecture you came to listen to my lecture like it or hate it do whatever